Hello everyone and welcome to what is a new series on my channel. This is a Pixelmon survival and the reason being for this is because I, with this server side of things it's gotten pretty sort of hard to get them out regularly because I have to level up so much to beat the gyms and so for that reason and for the reason I've got my new uh, PC which is running like a beauty as you can see I've got shaders mod installed which I could never use back whenever I was using my laptop the laptop did me well for a while but it was time to move on so I've invested in a PC I'll probably do a video where I'll show you guys the PC and all the bits and pieces that I've got with it uh, but until then I'm gonna be doing this little um, Pixelmon survival so there should be uh, if I'm right there should be some sheeps about and stuff but I've started off by building myself this little house off camera because uh, I didn't want to be bogged down in making it and I've just fitted it with some stuff because uh, I wanted to get the PC and the healer and all before I started and this here goes out into nowhere at the minute I don't know why I put two doors on it but I did because I was feeling like it and I've got a couple of things over here too I have the empty chests, uh, crafting table and that I've got the two anvils both anvils, one on each side of my little porch and I've got a Charmander so straight away what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and try and get a couple of levels up on my Charmander uh, while doing a little bit of adventurizing as well because it is a completely new world it's up on a server, it's the first time that I've done a survival on a server and it's going to be pretty interesting because uh, I don't really know how it's going to go internet wise uh, it's pr my internet's pretty decent at the minute so I should be able to uh, work with it pretty well and maybe get some new faces in on the scene as well uh, during the whole thing so I can, all I can see is pretty high level Pokemon and I don't I'm beside the forest I spawned like just over there and I decided I wanted to build my house near the river and there's a Rattata you're gonna you're gonna be my first kill oh no Maybe not. Rattata, I love the new Rattata model and also want to. Oh, just the, the Pokemon come out so quick whenever you've got faster things, so I'm going to have to get used to that uh, for battling. And oh, oh, it is pretty quick. This is pretty darn quick compared to what it was uh, whenever I was using my laptop. It took ages to do battles solo. Hopefully, I'll be able to battle loads of more Pokemon in between each of the each of the episodes because the last uh, couple of times it's been really slow with both internet and being on the laptop it's it was taking maybe I was only getting one or two battles done for each um, each episode because I was running out of time but hopefully we'll get loads and loads done uh, on this one there's an Ekin, the Ekans are all too big that Rattata I'm actually going to go and hit up some Magikarps because I can also get this Apricorn, because we're going to have to start making our own Pokeballs as well, so that's pretty good. So, I think that if you right click on it, you get one. And if you break the tree, the little apricorn tree, you should. Oh, you don't get another. Oh, god damn it. I thought you got two there. That was my mistake, but we'll not worry too much about it. Here's some mag low level Magikarps that I can use to start ah, get back in come on Charmander see that magic carp there you fight that boy and you're gonna beat him easily hopefully so as well as that getting back into doing the pixel mod oh, we've still got this little bit of jitter underground with the battles it's a little bit awkward but uh, getting back into pixel mod I've done a lot of Skyden videos so, uh, lately and I'm being very wary because my Ethernet cable doesn't have, in my PC, doesn't have a freaking little snatch on it to stop it coming out and I keep being afraid that I'll kick it out. But I've done a lot of Skyden videos lately and only really getting back into the Pixmon side of things right now with this video. So I was looking up some different things to do with Pixmon and I seen the uh, teaser trailer that came out, uh, two, I think it was two days ago, I hadn't really been looking up on YouTube, and it came out on the 18th, and I'm just going to say it looks pretty, pretty darn beast, because um, not only does it bring in new features, it brings in a whole new set of uh, models for the 
Pokemon. So like, I'm not exactly sure of the amount, but it has been a while since the last update. So I was hoping like that it would be a big update this time, and it is. It's massive. I know that uh, Chimchar and Turtwig and that are all coming into it. So there is a lot, a lot more new Pokemon coming in. There's new models for a lot of the old Pokemon like Pidgey and that, who weren't weren't really the greatest did not really have the greatest models uh, built for them the first time around uh, which can obviously be expected because there was so many Pokemon to put it, put in, implement in. So I've seen the new Pikachu and the new Raichu and they're all like basically like Charmander, Rattata and Poliwrath are at the minute. The models have been uh, just basically, there's a new go uh, uh, new Mar Magikarp as well and the Magikarps look pretty beast so maybe get myself a Magikarp once the new update comes out. And there is Ember, nice one. And there's some fish, cause we're gonna need we're gonna need all this stuff, the like the drops, the likes of the fish, the um, beef coming from the what are the mill tanks, mill tanks. I'm gonna have to remember all these. Well, I shouldn't remember the names, but I'm gonna remember all the stuff that I haven't done for absolutely ages, cause I haven't really been doing oh a little bit here. Um, I haven't really been doing any. Um, survival in a long time, so I have to get back into sort of the swing of doing the whole survival end of stuff as well. So it's really going to be a reinvigoration of Minecraft for me, and I'm going to hopefully get some more levels up here. Ember, of course, not going to do any damage, so I'm going to work away with the scratch until we get Dragon Rage, and that's still a right bit away from us yet. So the magic cards are the way to go. Especially when I'm in these low levels, they're they're pretty handy XP until we get some decent moves on, on, under our belt and some higher levels as well. So once we get up to level 10 or 13, around that we'll be able to take on so like some Pidgeys and that. And as soon earlier on, whenever I came into the thing, as soon as I spawned in, I picked my Charmander and a Hypno just attacked me straight away and killed my Pokemon. I spawned a healer. I don't, I don't know why, why I felt obliged to heal my Pokemon straight away. This is a level 11. Oh, this is going to bring me some pretty sweet uh, XP right here. It's going to take a little while, but it's going to give me some decent XP coming off this. But whenever I spawned, I, I, re, I uh, healed uh, Charmander. I started walking over and an Arbok attacked me. I was like, oh, this is not going to be a great start if all I'm doing is getting killed straight off the bat, so that's why the Magikarp's are pretty handy, this Magikarp is stuck on stuck on a ledge and now he's off again you can see the shader, the shader spec really adds uh, great depth to the game it's something that I always wanted to use but never been able to use it whenever I was on the, la on the old laptop so with the new PC I decided to kick it up a notch with the videos and throw in a bit of shaders and I think it looks pretty good if if you have any ideas of really good shaders packs or even really good resource packs that you know of uh, make sure to leave them in the comments below so that I can check them all out and see what they're like. I've got a, I downloaded a pack of shaders that has like something like 40 shaders in it so I haven't even gotten to see them all yet so there's probably a couple of um, shaders in it, in it that are pretty good and I just haven't seen yet but I'll be able to look through them all in the next couple over the next couple of days and probably pick out the best one. This uh, the the resource pack of course is faithful sixty four, and um, I think it's pretty good. It's pretty it's pretty nice. It's a sweet enough uh, resource pack, and there's so many of them freaking licky tongues all around the place. A little need around here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna attack you because you're just sitting here doing nothing running around sc scurrying about and I'm not even going to get you oh, get you're so quick they're so freaking quick and come on there we go okay so maybe use ember see what ember is like don't think it's going to be massively effective but we'll try it out anyway so scratch ember ember was pretty good oh, okay that's pretty good so you can see now even with the um, with being on the PC now instead of the laptop already we've gotten like a beast amount of levels straight off the bat I'm gonna oh, I need I need I'm gonna make this into wood and cook some fish 
that in there, put the fish in there, and I think you have to cook the apricorns as well. So we'll put that in there, and we need iron as well, so we're going to have to soon go mining. So maybe in the next episode we'll do a bit of the, uh, more of the survival end of things, and we'll go down into the, we'll go down into the mines and try and see if we can find some coal, some coal and some iron, and eventually we'll be looking for those sweet diamonds uh, because they are where the greatness is at and currently I'm starting to get hungry as well so I have to think about all of this so we'll ha we will have that fish pretty soon I don't want to I don't want to be taking on anything too high leveled right now uh, to get myself killed um, point out you're too high level now I'm going to try you so many seekings. That'll they'll be really good if I get an electric type Pokemon. And I didn't even notice this ravine. This ravine in here could be pretty, pretty nifty for me. Oh, a Vulpix. Uh, this could be. This could be dangerous. I did not want to get. Was was he out already? Was Charmander out? I don't know. Very ineffective. Scratch is ineffective. Everything is just ineffective right now. But hopefully, the, he'll use some like. I didn't even notice he was so close. I didn't even see him there. Um, there's no point in really using Ember. Well, oh, he just ran. Oh, that's alright. Roar is good. I like Roar. Oh my god. See, that's just cheating. That's cheating right there. He ran so he get full health back up. And then I get to take him on again and just get absolutely slammed. Oh, Charmander's going to take his first defeat, and I need to figure out how to get rid of the texture, texture text, or texture font, uh, because it's completely taken up too much space, There's too much space in between the letters, and I need to find out how to take it off, I can't remember, how I've taken it off before, I'm not sure whether I had Optifine on whenever I took it off before, and Optifine, I don't, st I'm pretty sure it still doesn't work with, um, did he? Did I beat him? Oh no, he roared again. Oh, that, that makes sense. I like, could not have beaten him so quick. It would have taken me ages. Even if he had just kept doing stupid moves that don't even do anything, it would have taken me absolute days to beat him there. I'm going to run back over to the house, heal up, get the fish so that I can uh, uh, get some food into me. I'm actually going to sleep as well so that I'm not even have to. I'm pretty sure sleeping. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, I haven't because I've only really played on the server, uh, so on different servers, I haven't actually don't even think I've used the bed. But this is glitching out to high hell. I don't know what's happening. Use the bed and sleep this time. Don't jump out. There we go. That's better. I don't know what happened there, but we were kind of messed up. So yeah, that worked out pretty sweet. So we'll take our cooked fish and cooked green apricorn and I'm going to go and um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to eat the fish first and I have to go some hunting some apricorns because I'm going to need a lot of them so that I can make some pokeballs because at the minute I can't actually catch anything because i got no pokeballs and I don't have a clue what colors make what. I think red makes red makes pokeballs. Uh, black and yellow maybe make ultra balls. Blue and red I think make great balls. This is just going by the color of the actual like pokeballs in real life. Well, not in real life, but in the anime. That's what the colors were, and that's what, well in the game as well. So that's what I'm gonna base my judgment off. I'm gonna beat some trees because I need to get all that coal as well. Is that that's the Nidoran? Yep. I wanna beat you, Nidoran. Beat you to a pulp. I love that Charmander. Oh, it's so good. Charmander looks great. I don't think I think they need to fix Charmeleon. I don't really like Charmeleon. Charizard looks pretty pretty good. Although the new Charizard, the I've seen it. You see, we see it in the. I'll probably link in put the link in the description to the teaser trailer. But you do see yourself flying on the back of a um, shiny Charizard in the teaser trailer so that it, it looked pretty sweet from what I've seen so obviously the model of it is pretty good as well 
There's still a lot of Magikarps lying about, so I'm going to take on them. Hopefully build up some more levels. Charmander, I think, oh, what level does he evolve at? It's 16, no, no, it's 20, oh, is it 23? Oh my god, I can't remember at all. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure uh, War Turtle was 21. So I think around 21, 22 maybe could be the evolvement time. Um, and if we get through a right few more of these Magikarps, we'll be pretty pretty close. All we need now is like, I don't know, uh, what would be good? Uh, mm, oh, grass type. Grass type would be... I'm, I'm always waiting for the... I'm usually used to waiting ages for the battle to be over so that like the the phases of the battle are usually over and I'm just sitting there like still waiting. There I could get some ender pearls off this guy. Not that I need them but I still want to beat 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 everyone. So there's Alvar should be one hit. No he's not, he's two hit. Oh I oh, teleported as well. You you let us come back. Come back here. Get back here. Get dead. Oh, he's going to teleport again. There's no point. Oh, it's just a waste of time. Okay, so that 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 was a very stupid thing to do. I don't even know why I did. But I think maybe... Give me... Come on, give me it. No, it didn't give me... I was nearly certain that that worked. And I also... Mm, that's actually a good point. I need to make a farm of... No, I thought my might was remodeled there, but he's not. Um, I need to make a farm... That's a good actually way. Oh, I never thought of that. I can get iron ingots of um, magnemite, so I don't even actually need to go mining for iron. I can just get it off this guy. Oh yeah. So oh, just that's not even slightly effective. Possibly not gonna work. This this is probably a stupid thing to do, and he's confused me now. <gasps> Oh, super effective. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on, Charmander. Oh, yeah. And also, I think maybe... Oh, look at that. Two ingots. Oh, sweet. So, basically, I'm just going to look for loads and loads of Magnemites. Uh, I think maybe we should nickname the Pokemon. So, Charmander needs a nickname. And I think you should have the chance to do that. So if you have a nickname that you want to call Charmander, uh, make sure to leave it in the comments and I'll pick the best. Um, uh, I'll leave my input as well. I have, to, I have to try and think. I'm going to have to think all day tomorrow about what I could ma name him. I, I'm really bad at thinking of na names up on the, on the spot, but usually I come across a couple of good ones whenever I'm thinking about it through the day. I want to make sure as well, I might need Rise Minimap because I don't want to get lost. I'll probably end up not being able to find my own house pretty soon. So I'm going to make my way back over towards where the house was while picking up some apric sweet apricorns on the way. Come on, give me your apricorn. I'm going to break it. I'm, I'm, I'm determined to bust the myth that you don't get apricorns whenever you break it. I was pretty sure you did. Uh, but... Could be, maybe I just broke it without taking it out. That could be why. I'm going to break this one, see if I get two. Oh, wait, you see, wait, you see. Maybe this will work. Maybe it won't. Eh, I'll probably be proof. No, damn it. Oh, shit. Okay, so you don't get two apricorns. Oh. Hassle. So I'm going to have to go look for one of each, basically, now. So I can start a little farm. I'm going to start a farm. I wonder, do I need to hold the ground? For me to put them in, mm. or do they just plant onto the ground? Oh no, you don't need to hold the ground. This is good. So there's a yellow one. You can't once you cooked it, they're useless. Basically, you need to use them to make the thing. So I'm gonna put all of my cooked apricorns in there. I'm gonna have to wait on for these to grow. And I want to make some tools as well. Now that I've got five iron ingots. So we'll go, we'll make some of that, we'll make a pickaxe, 
I could do it making some friggin' sticks first. Oh, that's how far behind I am these days. Alright, so. Um, I'm gonna leave it at just a pickaxe for the minute. Because I wanna see what all I need. And I need a hammer as well. And I've completely forgotten how to make the swag hammers. So I'm gonna have to remind myself of how to do that. And I'll make one in the next episode. So. We're going to go back on the hunt. We've been this direction, so when we're just looking for apricorns, I think we'll just do a big round circle. That's a far fetch in the water. I didn't know far fetch like the water. I have a 30 far fetch. My god, that would absolutely destroy me. I'm not even going to go anywhere near that. And stay stay well away. So, oh, there's some beef, some sweet, sweet beef. And... No apricorn. There we go. There's a white apricorn. Um, and a pink apricorn. Oh, we're absolutely flooded in apricorns over here. Give, give me, give me, give me, give me. Okay. I'm going to take that. I might as well leave it there because I'll be able to come back to it. And we'll have some more on the way back eventually. And there's no... I don't see any around here. I see loads of abras and stuff. Oh, shit. I need to get some more food. And there's a red one. Oh, nice one. I can make some Pokeballs with that. I missed a Magnemite there. I, I saw him. But it was too late. I was already over the over the ledge. So I'll, I'll go back eventually and get him. Hopefully he'll still be there whenever I go back. Come on. Give me your apricot. Click. Clickety-click. Where are you? Where'd it go? Shit, where'd it go? There it is. Ah, that went pretty far. Electrode, you look so delightful. Not all, not all the delightful Pokemon about. She is just makes it look so beautiful. There's a Persian over there. I'd love a Persian. Okay, so it's going to take me absolutely ages to walk home. Because I can't sprint. Uh, but, uh, maybe I'll eat the raw beef. I'll eat one raw beef. And that'll leave me able to sprint. So I'm gonna, while I'm on the way home, I'm just gonna make sure to, that I remind you all, to like, comment, and favorite the video if you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the new use of shaders and that, and hopefully it's been pretty good quality. Uh, we'll see. This is this is obviously just a te sort of a test run. See how it works out, and uh, then we'll know in the future what we need to do, what we need to change. Uh, but oh, they're growing really freaking quick. Uh, that was pretty bad placement. So we'll have wo one row for each, I think, and we'll go back and forth with it. So make sure you like, comment, and favorite the video. Uh, subscribe if you want to see some more Pixelmon survival and possibly more Pixelmon server, depending on on how well each series goes. Uh, until the next time, I see you. Thank you and goodbye.